If you want to make some picks on your favorite sports, check out Underdog Fantasy's Pick'em Game where you choose higher or lower on between two to eight players and can win up to 325 times your entry. And using code ZERK when you sign up, you'll get up to $1,000 in bonus cash and a free pick. The whole thing wobbing. guys so we have some team of the week reveals to get into and also some new xp objectives i do want to give a shout out to mark martinez for being a part of the noti gang if you guys want a chance to shout out the next video drop a like in the vid make sure you guys are sub to the channel notification below and comment down below noti gang also shout out to you guys that copied my nfl picks this opening week we had our greatest opening week ever and again last night another massive day we had almost 800 dollars in wins anybody's been copying you're definitely up and tonight, guys, we do have a no sweat token available until midnight on Underdog, available right now. If your entry loses, you get the money back as bonus funds. And if you guys check out Underdog Fantasy right now using code ZERK, you'll get up to $1,000 in bonus funds. And only when you sign up using code ZERK, you get both the CJ Stroud and the Josh Allen 0.5 yard free picks. And we have a promo every day of September on Underdog. Tomorrow, there's a CD Lamb 0.5 free pick and more stuff coming this weekend. Also, guys, I didn't want to go over this because I know I'm going to get comments about it and I'm getting tweets about it, whatever. But in case you guys, did not already see this if you're on xbox there is this thing right here it is a thousand and fifty madden points and you get buy one get one free however that's not it okay if you actually click on it it is not just that you have to literally buy madden to get the buy one get one free 1050 points so just wanted to go over that real quick because getting tweets about it yeah not good and i actually forgot to cover this earlier today guys we did get some new season xp objectives i do also want to mention the make right situation if you didn't see my videos earlier today we have a bunch of make rights kind of rolling out today i still don't have my make rights for like the justin simmons ltd situation which is going to be like a game time pack for the pack you open during that time frame i still don't have mine i got my aka that was it i don't have my christian watson that's all i got so if you don't have your stuff yet don't flip out it is rolling out as i said uh but as you guys can see we actually did get some new week two objectives today again these actually came out earlier today i just kind of forgot to cover them earlier today but we have a bunch right here get sacks passing yards rushing yards and also interceptions which in total is another 105,000 xp that you could possibly get now i'll let you guys know i don't think that i missed a daily maybe i missed like one day or something potentially maybe i did i don't know but if i did I, as you guys can see i have gone through to my dailies and to my programs the only thing i have left to do is get uh, another 4300 and about another like 13,000. so about like another 18,000 xp i have done everything else possible in the game and as you guys see on level 21 uh, another 18,000 xp will put me over level 22 close to level 23 so I believe I've done everything. I believe I've done everything. I don't think I missed any days. If I did miss any dailies, maybe I missed one potentially on like some random day. Uh, and if that is the case, then potentially someone could be maybe to like 23, but I think 22 is the max level you can currently be at. Obviously this season, we still have 35 more days to go and you know, we have 50 levels. So we're gonna get there pretty easily. Uh, we do also have some other promos gonna be coming out like Game Time Release 2 will be on this upcoming Thursday. And obviously that's gonna give us more XP, probably get another 72,000 there. Doing your dailies, we get the weekly milestones every single Tuesday. Yeah, we'll get there relatively quickly couple weeks all right guys so let's get into the team of the week reveals and yeah as you guys can see instantly this already is very interesting so once again uh, i will let you guys know in years past we have in fact got champions before that lost and obviously as you guys know isaiah likely was a big reason as to why the ravens were in the game versus the chiefs on nfl kickoff he also is the reason technically why they lost the game because his toe was on the line so interesting choice for a uh, team of the week champion week one of team of the week and what do we get we get a team that lost that gets a champion very very interesting uh the rest of the reveals though with team of the week guys are gonna be tomorrow morning at 10 30 a.m eastern and then it should should drop at 1 30 right we'll see if there's a delay as you guys can see though isaiah likely 86 speed 84 catch 84 catch in traffic uh does have 86 short out running 84 medium route running 69 run block very nice there has baked in energizer now comparing him to the best tight end in the game it's vernon davis 87 speed 88 excel 86 speed over here uh 68 strength 69 run block we have 77 strength we also have a run block of only 52 so likely a 
is a little bit better of a blocker. Uh, 87 catch, 86 catch in traffic. We have 84 and 84. 86 spec catch, Vernon Davis, 86. Route running of 87 and 86. Over here, we have 86 and 84. And then Vernon Davis as well. By the way, I mean, I understand Vernon's the best tight end in the game. This is an 87 overall versus an 87 overall. It's not like I'm using an 88 versus an 87 here to do this comparison. These are the same overall cards. Uh, but Vernon Davis versus Likely... Yeah, I'm taking Vernon pretty much all day. And Isaiah likely is six foot four, so he's got some decent height for him as a tight end. Uh, a lot of other tight ends, though, are 85 speed, a couple of 86s. So make no mistake about it, this card is good. It's a good tight end. Vernon Davis is just straight up, simply, still the best tight end in the game until we get a better one. Uh, we'll see about that. But Isaiah likely, very, very solid. And then Julian Love is the other champion that we got. The Seahawks did actually win. Uh, you guys can see his stats. I do believe that's baked in Stonewall, if I recall correctly there. Uh, 87 speed, 86 excel, 82 man, 86 zone, 57 hit power. Comparing him once again, in my opinion, to the best free safety in the game, that's Sean Taylor. 87 speed, 88 excel. We have 87 speed, 86 excel. 84 tackling. Sean Taylor uh, does have a tackling of only 81. The hit power, though, obviously is a lot better. 88 compared to basically nothing with that 57 and of course with how crazy hit sticks are in madden 25 that's a big advantage to have the much much better hit power uh 86 play rec 86 pursuit over here we have 83 play rec uh we also do have pursuit of 86 man in zone of 80 and 85 we have 82 and 84 so i don't think these champions are bad at all i think julian love is actually a very very good coverage safety and i think that isaiah likely is a pretty good tight end. However, like I said, these cards, they're just not the best in their position like maybe you'd want to see from a huge Team of the Week drop with Week 1. So those are the Team of the Week champions. Like I said, guys, rest of the reveals will be in the morning. And also, just be on the lookout because I will tell you, we don't know how Team of the Week is actually going to work this year. I know that we've had Team of the Week preseason already, and we had two releases of that. But the normal Team of the Week can be different than just like the preseason Team of the Week. We may see kind of legends almost in team of the week the ltd potentially could be a player from a previous year but from week one that's kind of how they've done it some years some years it's also just a player who did really good this week so in terms of how team of the week is going to work you know throughout the regular season tomorrow is going to be the first time we actually get to see that but let me know down below what you guys think about these cards uh, i will tell you i'm kind of disappointed no saquon i i actually really wanted saquon barkley i feel like right now in terms of the running back position you know more Marshawn Lynch is really good. Uh, Ricky Williams, who just came out, really good. But he's 1.3 million coins. And Saquon Barkley would have been a not super cheap but decently cheap enough right running back to pick up who would have competed with ricky williams in terms of the stats there so i'm a little disappointed no saquon uh we'll see what else they have in the morning though you know we'll see who the limit is going to be will they have former players as well like legend champions we shall see hopefully you guys enjoyed drop a like on it hit that sub button down below make sure to check out underdog fantasy use code zerk follow me over on twitter for my picks and don't forget to use your no sweat token by midnight tonight if you guys enjoyed this video check out these